My name is David Proud and I'm an actor and a writer and a consultant and I've been acting I think for about 13 years now. So I've done a mixture of film and TV and theatre. Number one, broadcasters have got to stop thinking about disability as a risk. Um, there's a lot of unconscious bias um, that comes with disability and you need to kind of start from square one again. Um, it's not going to cost you a fortune to have disabled artists on your set. Um, it's not going to be any more risky to your project. Uh, it's going to add value and it's going to add authenticity. And I think that at the moment, disabled artists have pushed all the way through the industry, all the way up to the commissioning point. And I think that now we're on the cusp of a lot more disabled-led projects. Um, and it's this unconscious bias that how can a disabled artist um, you know, possibly create a show that's worth two, three million pounds worth of investment. But why not? You know, um, if they can write, they can write. You know, if somebody can direct, they can direct. If you have somebody with a disability part of the creative process from day one, um, they're going to be able to guide you and kind of be a friendly ear to, to how the project's developing and steer it in a direction that isn't stereotypical or isn't offensive. Um, I think just it's the most simple thing in the world. If you want to represent a group of people, engage the group of people that, that you're trying to represent. You know, um, it's felt like uh, the higher you go, there's another barrier to kind of face. So I can't wait until we have, you know, a disabled person as a commissioner. Uh, at, at somewhere um, and I think that that's the key bit as soon as we actually get disabled people at the highest level of our industry um, it'll all just be uh, it'll just be a lot better when you actually see the skill set that disabled people bring um, there's one one disabled artist I know I asked him at a panel I said how many years of training have you had and he said 15 He's had 15 years of training. All he's offered is training. It's not offered any work, training. He could be a doctor and a lawyer by now, but he won't yet be allowed to uh, be, you know, to lead a, a, a TV show. And you just see how shocking, you know, no other artist is being asked to do 15 years of training. So I think it's time that we stopped training disabled people and we started employing disabled people.